Oh, hello there, ladies and lasses. Welcome to the YouTube channel. <laughs> Not good. Last week I uploaded a standard British versus American video about GCSEs and SATs. We do British exams. A lot of Scottish people are really angry. Supposedly it's very different. So here, we have a Scottish person from... Dundee. Dundee. It is a place in Scotland, believe me. I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> do you like what I've done with the room? I made it blue like your flag. <laughs> I'm surprised you know that. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, that was on the citizenship. So there's a couple of problems that with my last week's video, which was Scottish representation wasn't really there. It turns out that there's a hugely different system in Scotland than in England. Yes, and I told you this before. <laughs> Is Scotland not in the UK? Oh, not for long. Oh, yikes. <laughs> do you guys have GCSEs or something equivalent? How many do you have? We don't have GCSEs. We've got standard grades or int twos. Standard grades? Standard grades. Just a standard grade. We just also had standard <laughs> grades in the States. <laughs> A's, B's. They're called standard grades, but then they were just replaced with national fives, which are the same thing, but just with a different that name. That sounds like a race car. Like a, a race car. A race. It sounds like a race. Black, He's heading to the national black, fives. white, Asian, nat five. No. My favorite race. Car races. <laughs> Why is it called national fives? Do we know? I don't know. It's national and level five. There's also national one, two, and three. Are there national four. sixes? No. Those are hires. Which are a different thing, which are A different. levels. No, they're... <laughs> are there A levels? No, well, 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 well... One thing at a time. National fives, which you take the same you take amount. them at, yeah, so you take eight of those at 15 or 16. So that's less than England, where they take like 14 to 22 GCSEs or something crazy. Yeah, we have less exams, but... But... We used to have 16 exams. I had 16 exams. You had 16 exams, but now it's not as bad. Now it's not as bad, and it's much oh. easier. How many different education boards are there? I know that there's the AQA and the edXL in the UK. I didn't <laughs> know about those. I only know about the SQA. So the uh, SQA is SQA like is the Scotland. AQA. Yeah, Scotland. it's in Scotland. It's yeah. Scotland Qua. Scotland Qua. Scotland Qualification. As opposed to England Qua. Let's just say you moved from Scotland to England. Would those just transfer as if they were GCSEs? So what happens... I don't know about moving from Scotland to England. I know about moving from England to Scotland. Mm -hmm. okay. So when we had people move from England to Scotland, yeah. sometimes they wouldn't, they'd have learned completely different things. Fair. So they'd be doing the same thing that they were doing like a year previous. So they were a little bit behind. They were either behind in some things, but really ahead in others because England has completely different like syllabus. I heard that you guys have to do something in only a year, whereas in England they do it two years. Yeah, so that, so England has A-levels. Yeah, A-levels. Our equivalent is advanced higher. Advanced higher. Which is just a year. Which is two ways of saying the same thing. But advanced higher is harder, you get more points for it. So you can choose advanced higher or just advanced standard? No. Oh, just... okay. <laughs> Sorry, standard so... grades. Okay, I'm trying right. really hard to comprehend. <laughs> It sounds like you're speaking a different language and I'm, I'm speaking I'm, I'm Scottish. Just, I'm just understanding GCSEs and now you're like, advanced hires, national five. It is completely different. Ours make more sense. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is there any multiple choice? Yeah, there was some, but it was difficult. <laughs> People were like, oh, Evan's making the US seem so easy. I'm not. It's just comparing it to a non-multiple choice test. It you was know. the easiest part of the exam, and yes. you stopped doing it when we turned 17. Oh, yeah. no. No, you don't get it all the way through. It's like, oh. it's the first maybe 20 questions are... Okay, or that's multiple fair. choice. But they always do this thing where you've got two questions that are literally the same answer, apart from one thing. That's nice. They try to trick you. That's, oh, okay, that's yeah. not nice. That's not if nice. If you take your advanced hires mm. and you do well, like, do they compare one to one with A levels in terms of getting entrance into? No, so that's what. Yeah, unis. You, so advanced hires are worth more than A levels. Uh, they sound it. They're advanced yeah. and higher. You A can, level. If you do well advanced. in your advanced hires, you can skip your first year, uh, year of uni in Scotland. What? Oh, in Scotland. So they do four years. But it's still worth more. So and um, whoa, 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 whoa! You do four years. You do four years. Like America, Scotland. we're like brothers. Yeah, that's so nice. But first year, you just get drunk. It doesn't mean anything. Okay, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally, most of them are, are just pass fail. But if you do well on your Scottish A levels, the advanced hires, mm -hmm. you get to skip your first year of Scottish uni. Yes, that's pretty rad. And, and if you don't do well, you have you can still do the first year of uni. Is there like a high percentage of people that? No, I'm, we we all do pretty well in the exams because they change the okay. grade boundaries. Because it sounds like you guys have a bit more. Uh, intense of a rubric than the we England do. area. So when I moved down to go to uni, mm -hmm. I needed fewer qualifications than an English person would need because the Scottish syllabus is harder. Oh. Yeah. I mean, that's nice. My PT was telling me a story the other day about how one time he broke down with his bike in front of a house. A guy came out to help him and said, oh, just come in if you need a drink or something. He goes in and the guy has just stacks on stacks on stacks of these papers he's grading for one of these boards. He's one of the people that it grades these standardized tests. 
I had no clue that's a thing. I thought they did it in offices. I thought, you know, these weren't, but who grades these standardized tests? Just teachers. Random teachers? Yeah, so I think, I don't know whether it's every teacher or just teachers that choose to do it. I'm pretty sure it's just teachers that choose to do it. Uh huh. They are part of the exam. The and they can just do it at home? Yeah, they can just, they... I thought it would have been like loads of people in like <laughs> an office of teachers. No. Just like trying to answer no, our the teachers same questions. Would com our teachers would complain about, um, complain about marking. Or some of our teachers would make fun of really, really dumb answers that you, they would get. Because it's completely anonymized, the chances are that you having someone from your school that you teach. It's very low. Completely, un like, so unlikely. So, um, is, is that why you guys have like such a big issue with remarks? Because I imagine if teachers have so many of these things to grade, they're just gonna get lazy watching like Game of Thrones or something while grading, and so you need another teacher to do it on top. We don't, so the only time- Wait, do you guys have remarking issues in Scotland? Yes. <laughs> okay, I was just making sure. This is another thing that they changed when, when I was leaving. Oh no. So, before, when I was in high school, mm -hmm. what would happen was if you got a low grade, you could just send in your coursework and your homework and stuff from throughout the year. And you get extra credit. And they'd bump it up. Yeah! If it was good enough. Oh, okay. But then they changed it. Wait, that's really nice of an idea though. Yeah, it's a really good idea, but they changed it. To decide, oh. just just as I was leaving, uh, so that if you get a low grade, all they'll do is remark it. Oh. I so, mean, I did like that because it sounded more American to be like, look at my homework, give me participation. Yeah, no, I mean, that made sense. If you were ill or if you just had a bad day, but yeah, because no, everyone has bad days sometimes. <laughs> Forget all of the math that you're supposed it. to learn. They'll just have someone count it again, or like re like remark it. But that it have doesn't. Have you done that ever? Did it work out for you? I had I've had one B in my life, one B, and I never got it changed. Oh, it humbles me to this day. Oh, the B is the low grade. Oh yeah, <laughs> I was like, damn. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> So you're like, all C's and D's are like, but I didn't get that one B. No, the B is my low grade. Oh, I was. That's so frustrating It is as really well, annoying. Because I feel like it is very subjective. You yeah. could have deserved an well, that's A. That's the thing. But they're like, ah, his name's Corey. It's a weird name. Yeah, exactly. Wait, well, do they know your name? No, you use your Scottish candidate number. Which I'm like... going to say, you use your <laughs> Scottish name. My name is Lottie O'Hanagan. <laughs> Everyone gets given one at birth. <laughs> what are the invigilators like? I heard they're all little old ladies. No, no. They're little men too. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's right. They're not allowed to answer questions about the paper. Mm -hmm. But if you... Yeah, what else would it, you need no, questions answer, like, about? <laughs> What's <laughs> the day, ma'am? They're not allowed to answer you. Well, yes. You're having a good day? But you don't know what day it is. got to write the day. Uh, like problems the with the test. So they can't answer a question on the paper or help you with it. No, but, but if they, you say, I think this question is wrong. Okay. Then they then they can deal so with that. So you just say that with every question. No. I think this one's wrong. Because what happens is they'll go and they'll they'll get in contact with the teacher, oh. which I've had so many times. Really? So many of so many of my exams have had problems with them. But you said that you had a high standard, and now you have really bad papers. Yeah, we've got a high standard. That's what, that that makes them harder. Okay. Yeah, because you have to question <laughs> the, exam. the exam. That doesn't sound fair. But uni exams are so it's run just by the department. So okay. it's just it's just the head of the department doing it, and this guy he printed out the wrong Oh, they're exam. standardized. No. Oh, okay. Just, yeah, because uni exams for me were just the teacher did them, and if he graded you high, he graded you high. It's yeah, based what, on what he taught. Yeah. It's all anonymized still. What? Yeah. Ugh, you guys and you're anonymizing of the grading. Yeah, you don't want to discriminate. Yes, you do. <laughs> in a positive way. Oh, maybe you want to be discriminated. I want, I want to make the teacher give me a better grade because he knows me. We were awful to our teachers. Give him apple. Why is the UK so mean <laughs> to the teachers? No, like, if they're a bad teacher, we'll, meet, we'll be mean to them. I didn't respect a lot of my teachers. I'm still friends with them now, I respected though. them all because they were clearly intelligent. Except Some the one them. that pronounced probability probability. Oh. Because that really annoyed me because it's not how you pronounce it. How old were you when you graduated university? 21. You yeah. can finally legally drink in the US. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have a lot of cheating? <laughs> oh, okay, there was a bit of a pause It's there. surprisingly easy to cheat in these exams. I mean, I'm pretty- they make I you know. remove the paper from the water bottles, you know. Yeah, but I've had someone pull out their phone and sit on it and use no. that. No. 100%. I mean, and I've heard of a friend that wasn't me that once just asked to go to the bathroom and, you know, looked up answers that he had on his phone. That's- you were allowed to take your phone with you to the bathroom. Yeah, they're not gonna take my bone. I mean, the, my friend. <laughs> 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 was this your uh, Was this your UK exam? Get in here. Uh, He's not a citizen anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Bam! Eight percent of the UK population is in Scotland. Only eight percent. That's a fun fact of the day. We're small, but we're loud. But yet, a hundred percent of my angry comments in the last video <laughs> were from Scotland. In the UK, they have sixth form, which is like two years, right? In England, they've got sixth form, which yes. is two years. Yeah. Whereas you guys have advanced higher, which is only one year. So, England, yeah. Yes. Okay. Exactly. But they leave school and go to sixth form. We stay in one school for the entire time. 
You don't leave school and go to sixth form. You just take off your fancy blazer and you just put on a pair of sneaks. But there are some places that don't have sixth form. Uh, oh, oh, do you pay? Sixth form is free. Good. Two to three years after your GCSEs. Three years. It depends on if you're bad. Thank you, Scotland. I appreciate your time. Uh, hopefully the Scottish in the comments will now praise you or probably burn you because you left out a tiny piece of information that no one would have known except for them. They're gonna hate me. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have two exams for every subject? Because there was um, credit level. And... Wait, are there two standardized tests for every? Yeah. Because there's there's the higher level exam, the credit, that's not the higher level. There's the credit level exam. Okay. And then the general level exam. Why can't you just take the credit one and if you don't do really, really well, then you just get- That's what we asked. Oh. Uh <laughs> <laughs> All the people in the top sets were like, why can't we just do this one? But you've got to do both in case you fail the top one. So no matter where you're from, the grass is always greener on the other side. If you enjoyed today's video, you can give it a big old thumb up. And if we missed out anything, please be sure to tell us angrily in the comments. Or politely, that'd be more appreciated actually. And if you want, you can check out Corey's channel in the description box below. And don't forget, next week, I am going to be taking a GCSE. What? I bought a camera rig to do it, so uh, subscribe if you want to make sure you catch that, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. You're doing a GCSE? Yeah. I'm doing a higher one. Ugh. Not an advanced higher.